Alright guys, we're back with some more Move Love alternative last time. Uh, some Iomne stuff happened, but more importantly, we were hard snooping and we found out there's a coup going on in the Japanese capital, man. Chizuru's dad is held hostage, who knows what's going on with Maya's family, it's a disaster. I don't even know if we're gonna help, because we also have, uh, I think maybe like, I think like, tomorrow in in game time we have to go back to our uh universe and uh get the theory so we're kind of busy but you know the situation does involve chizu and probably maya's family like obviously maya's family i don't know like if it involves her mother and stuff because we don't know uh the degrees of separation or whatever is going on with her but yeah uh let's just continue see what's happening uh, hang on, Sensei, was that guy being serious about... Yeah, it's a separate thing. This, I mean, this probably happened in... Ah! Uh, maybe it didn't happen in, uh... Also, like, what's this alarm? This has nothing to do with what they were talking about, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't have alarmed. But I guess this might not have happened in Unlimited. Because, you know, stuff did happen. Like, the... The ship didn't go down. That might have changed course of things. The fact that we're getting closer to Alternative 5, which, you know, whispers of that. I mean, not Alternative 5, Alternative 4. Some whispers of that might be happening. So we... There actually has been some bigger plays going on. No, I mean, what he said about sacrificing us. Oh, yeah, they also implied that, yeah, we're a special squad. We're like... We're like the, the GG squad, you know? With the important individual, so if you do like some crazy heroic mission, then it might inspire the masses or something. Okay. But, I mean, it's kind of life or death, you know? It's kind of a serious topic. I mean, I doubt it, what she's saying, but this is like a big issue, kinda. It's not just like some random thing. It's probably like one of the biggest issues. Both the suicide thingy and the, or the sacrifice thing and the whole coup. Yeah, that's where you and the other Yuto differed. I don't know. She was acting kind of motherly when we went back to the Axe Reverse. Just saying. She's bluffing. She wouldn't do that. She's just egging us on. She, there's no way she would do it. She was, she's way too dialed in to just give up on Alternative 4. That's not true. Yeah, this is just motivation. Yes, ma'am. God damn it. I heard the two. I why are we standing by? Oh, cause I guess they were deciding if we're gonna go help them or not, and we're deciding not to. The military coup, you mean? Yeah, it won't affect Alternative 4, will it? Correct. The next bit of N.I. remembers when Alternative 5 was put into effect on December 25th. I'm sure of the date because it was right after our Christmas party ended. Yeah, I know, this is a big change. It caused a whole damn coup to happen. Seriously, what could possibly be good about having the Alternative 5 supporters and the anti-Alternative Americans both leaning up on us? Well, the good thing is, we're kind of bringing them all into place. Because if they survive this, if they don't get the Americans' help, and they put down the coup, then they lose a lot of power. That's the thing, this is like their big push, but if they fail, then... They're gonna have to lick their wounds for a while, and probably gives us a lot of time. What's she getting at? Wait, why me? 
Guess she wants me to figure it out myself. Classic. Hello. So we are going into the crew? We're just not letting the Americans help? For some reason, I thought we weren't gonna help. We weren't gonna help because Japan didn't, like, ask for help. Like, the Imperials didn't. We're the all stars. Oh. No, our special privileges. I had fun skipping class. Whoa, Yuko Sense is getting a call directly from Regional HQ? Should we go snoop again? <laughs> it's our specialty? What happened? It didn't just get worse. Maybe they asked for backup? What that? New girl just dropped? Hello. Blondie. Okay. Bid, bid answer incoming. Did they decide to intervene? Oh no. Alright, so we're let. So we're helping and we're letting the Americans in? That's a little tricky, but if we stop the two. But, oh man. The best scenario was if we didn't let the Americans in. I oh, no. Not great. Maybe we'll see some new faces, though? Is her name Piet? I need a real lesson. Piet. I think it's just Piet. Kind of hard to tell. First Lieutenant Pieta. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> so Thomas' dad managed to make the security council decide in time, just like you said he would. Curse you, Thomas' dad. That really was unbelievably fast, though. This is feeling more and more scripted by the second. <laughs> Speaking of Americans, if Canada was still alive, I know we're like off the map to be done newt a bunch of times. We would have been the good guys, just saying. I feel it in my blood. Put the Cana put the Royal Mounted Police in, the beta would actually just run away. There. Yeah. Put them in their place. では引き続き状況の確認を行う。すでに説明したように現在テートは空でた部隊によってほぼ完全に制圧されている。最新の情報によると最後まで抵抗を続けていた国防省が先ほど陥落した。Oh Okay, stay strong, Royal Guards. Maya. Are they serious? Almost all the Imperial Japanese mainland defense forces are stationed along the coastline. Where are they gonna get enough troops to retake the capital? There's no way they're planning on leaving the primary defense line undefended, right? Yeah, and then the beta will could attack. I mean, they don't really have a choice, to be fair. It's not like they can just stay there and let the capital be, like, 
taken over. <laughs> but it does open them up. Oh no, it's rusty. Sadri. That's not a. Uh... That's not Ayamne's boyfriend, right? Oh, it is! Wait, that's crazy. Oh shit, she really is a terrorist! Oh no, man. This is getting spicy. Sadri Naoya? Have I heard that name somewhere before? I honestly, like, I, I like kind of remembered it, but, you know, they just flashed him. They didn't flash him, I might not have remembered fully. Or am I just imagining things? Oh, what the heck? Well, that's it. Sorry, Chizu. Just we couldn't save your dad, he died. <laughs> Jesus. Now we're going on a rescue mission here. What did she just say? Like, this is super serious. I thought, like, since they weren't asking for help, they were, like, kind of chilling, but... Nah, they're hard losing. What did she just say? Well, this isn't... <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but, like... Ayamne's ex-boyfriend killing Cheezer's dad is, like... Some crazy... Crazy, like... Not of fate right there. I don't know if that's gonna help them. Maybe that'll make Ayamne nicer to Chizu. A bit. Like, maybe she'll be less, like... Edgy towards her, knowing that her ex-boyfriend killed her dad. It's pretty, pretty bad. That's us. Really thought we were done to, like, save them or something. Now that really sucks. Man, now I'm sad. Sorry, I mean, I'm... I, I mean, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it gets to the point where Chizu kills Ayamne's ex-boyfriend and then, like, what happens there, man? I mean, it's kind of an eye for an eye, but... Uh, class rep's dad was killed? And the guy who did it even called him a traitor to his country. Why? We don't even know why the truth's happening. Yeah, no one gets in. You gotta have special clearance like me, alright? Don't let them in the brain room. Alright, let's hear them cook. Class rep. Well, I guess in the extraverse, she also only, she was a single mother household. Now we're back to single mother. Oh no, man. Hey, there he is. Looks a lot rougher. This is the guy. He's the one who killed Classrup's dad. Huh? Hmm? Wait, is he? He looked better with the turtle neck on. Right. Okay. それが政府と我々軍人に課せられた通行な責務であり、全うすべき唯一無二の使命であるとも言えましょう。しかしながら、政府及び帝国軍は。to be fair, I don't really know what the Imperial side is doing. We're on the UN side. So I don't know the machinations. Yeah, 
Ain't no way they're using that to feel it. Okay, well, we know that helped cause this true, huh? This is like the most dodge shit like argument I've ever heard. We're going back to the Tatru Mea argument. Like who cares bro? I get it, like individual freedom's important. But like again it's we're in the war with aliens, man. You gotta you gotta think of the bitter picture. Like I don't know. This this argument's still not that compelling to me. I mean obviously it's much less compelling coming from this guy compared to Mayo. So Yeah, base, they saved their lives. Making a I like it it sounds bad when he says it like this, but why did they do that? To save their lives. Because they would have got toasted by the volcano. But that's temporary. Or we relocate them. <sighs> like, like again, he, he's he's taking the truth of it, and like you know this this you know it's bad, right? This is bad, but the, here's the truth of the matter: if we left them, you know, it would be our civic duty to try to save them, even though they're stubborn and you know, like an unlimited. We lose two TSFs doing some crazy ass lava shenanigans, which is granted. You know, I don't like to say it, but in the scope of things, two TSFs are definitely worth more than a bunch of old people. <laughs> like, you gotta think of the big picture here. I mean, like, I mean, this is what politicians do. He's not even a politician, but he's playing the game, right? Where you gotta, like, make it look, like, twisted as best as you can. And this is bad, but again, it's, it's... At the end of the day, it's saving their lives? I don't know. And there, he's trying to say that this is purely for a like, political gain. I mean, it kind of is, but also not. It's just kind of funny because it was cozy. He kind of like made this happen. <laughs> oh man. Can't believe he raised a fucking rebellion army with this dodge shit. Like, I don't know. To me, the argument's pretty weak. At least have like some better corruption arguments than, hey, they took, they saved a bunch of people, but temporarily put them in like a. They save people without their consent. Okay, my bad. They save people's lives without their consent. And right now they're trapped. They're put into a temporary shelter that's not great. But also it's temporary. So, it's like, who cares? Strategic Studies Group. Is, it's not a great name for a... Like, what is that name, dude? I'm a hater right now. The Strategic Studies Group. Didn't Chief Yoroi mention that when I first met him? I don't remember. I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm pretty sure that was about a week ago, when we had a mock battle right after Undersecretary Tamase visited the base. Alright, apparently he did. Thank you for the recap. I honestly didn't remember this. Oh, 
Well, he was right. Production master. Good call. So this is what he was talking about. I thought they were attacking the palace, and that's why the royal guard's fighting them. So they're just trying to destroy the government. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job right now, but if reinforcements come, they're screwed. But also, if reinforcements come from the front line, then we might be screwed because the beta might attack, so... That's why the UN reinforcements are going to go hard right now. But again, that gave way for America to widow itself in. It's honestly not a great situation. Also, you do not have the right to declare martial law. I guess they've already taken most of the government over, huh? Traders, though? You've got some nerve. I'm with you, Taku. I, I was not convinced by that speech at all, man. How can you paint class reps dad as a bad guy here? I mean, okay, to be fair, we literally don't know the guy, and we, again, we don't really know anything about the imperial politics and stuff, since we've been situated in a UN base, so I can't really comment that much on it, but still don't like them for, like, all the reasons I was talking about before. That's us. I mean, here's the thing, though. If America is, like, funding these guys and helping them with this, then now that they're, like, with us, maybe they'll force us to, like, cooperate and, like, make a peace deal with these, uh, these rebels, which would actually be the worst-case scenario. It sounds like a horrible situation to be in. Same. I thought it was pretty mid too, honestly. Let's go. Uh, let's just get right in there before America can fuck this up. Let's go. Let's go shoot him up. Class rep. Nothing, really? It's obviously just bottling it up. I can see her fist clenched and shaking. Well, she's not gonna, like, cry here. She is our boss. Yeah, this is all... <laughs> It's awkward, man. With these two. It might be a true bonding Sasha once it once it's all over. Nah, I don't know. But like, how good is like? It's a rebel. It's like a. It's a coup on the government, man. I thought as the UN, you're supposed to protect people like in the UN. <laughs> Isn't it our duty as the UN to protect our nations in the UN? So we should go stop Japan from being cooed. Or is it just like for wars? I don't know how the UN works in real life. I know it's basically like a giant pact, and like if someone attacks the UN, they're probably. The UN's probably gonna go fuck them up, right? Does it, is that how it works? I don't know. Or at least there will be consequences. That's why you d just can't, like, fuck with the UN. I, mean, I, I, I think I'm kind of, like, combining it with NAFTA, too. But, whatever. <laughs> Tama. Tama! I mean, she doesn't really have a big part in this, besides her dad pushing for the Americans. Which is bad. It might actually be like one of the worst things, but not like in the immediate. I mean, I don't know, man. It's all fucked up. Huh? Ma'am? I don't remember. I shall fulfill my duty to maintain international peace and order and rigidly adhere to the code of conduct. 
By cultivating virtue, training my mind and body, and by polishing my skills, I shall not take part in political actions. I shall maintain a sense of responsibility, giving my undivided attention to the completion of my mission. Sorry, I forgot what it is. I swear never to shy away from danger, but to risk my life in accomplishing my duty and fulfill my responsibility to humanity. Now I finish faster. Well, it's not really a like I guess by political action they mean like by yourself, right? If it's a mission to like go stop the coup, I mean it's a political action, but it's like not against the code, right, ma'am? Nah, send us out. I want to go. First off, it'll be fine and also we need some revenge for Shizu. It's a blood debt, man. You know, it's part of the squad. You can't just do... You know, you have the UN and, and then you have the squad, man. If someone fucks with the squad in some way, we gotta get revenge. It'd be sick if Myra whips out the special TSF for this too. Seems like a good occasion too, honestly. She's absolutely right. Anything could happen from here out, here on out. Yeah, it's tense, man. I got goosebumps. But it's also because I'm wearing a tank top and there's air conditioning on, but still. <laughs> Our first real battle might be against other humans. Classic humanity. We'll be fighting our own kind. Oh yeah, if we perform good, we can... We might not be cadets anymore. Yes, ma'am. If that's what she meant, or like, earn what you've been training for. Alright. I'm fired up, man. Send me in. I'll mow down some traitors. Pass her up. I'm sorry about your father. Can't really. I mean, what can you really say? It really sucks, man. Mm. I don't know what to do. Yeah, this is where I'm stumped. Usually I'm like pretty good. At least calling actions from the safety of my seat, you know? Obviously I'd probably be flopping a lot like Taku in real life, but... I don't really know what we can say, man. Sucks. Yeah, I mean it would really suck if, the, if we broke her like a deal with them because of the Americans too. I don't know, I'm just... I'm just like spitballing stuff. Like, it probably won't happen, but... But, but she would hate that. <laughs> sure, yeah, I best that might... I figured that might be for the best. So, uh, so listen, uh... Oh, okay. I just thought maybe it'd be better for you to opt out of this operation, you know. I mean, it would be, you know, that's a general rule. You know, don't let it get too personal. And we're just talking about police stuff, but... Nah, I mean, I don't know, man. She's motivated. She might... I mean, she's a leader, though. But honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing her, like, kill... Kill the dude. You know? Revenge. But probably... It, it is probably the right call to not bring her. To be honest, if we're talking just tactically, no feelings, just logically, she shouldn't come because she's not in the right mind to lead. Don't worry. If you don't come, we'll we'll kill him for you. Or maybe I am will. That'd be nice and probably like made sense since it's part of her story. I'm sure you know what I mean. I saw the way your hands were shaking earlier. I know class rep went against her father's wishes by disregarding or discarding her draft exemption and enlisting here. 
He might not have gotten along very well, but he was still her father. It's painful enough to lose a parent regardless of how they die. But to have them murdered in cold blood, I can only imagine how much she must be hurting right now. At least let your second in command take control of the squad for her. I forgot who's second in command. Probably Mayo. No, that would make a lot of sense. I think it is actually. I remember it now. No, oh, this is the right call. She's obviously emotional. I'm actually surprised Jinguji didn't say anything. You think she would know better too? <laughs> I'm just saying, you shouldn't bottle these things up. Just like, go do that in the privacy of your room or something. I mean, that works too. Don't get me wrong. No, that's not what I'm trying to say at all. <laughs> I don't know. You don't really get the luxury to mourn anyone's death when you're in the military. Even if it's a close relative. We can't afford to let our emotions get the best of us, especially during a mission. True. But we're not on a mission right now. Sure, we're on standby, so we're technically... So we're not technically off duty, but I don't see them deploying us anytime soon. So what's the harm in letting yourself mourn for a little bit before we go? Don't you think it'd be better just to let it out? Yeah, but let her- I mean, she was probably gonna go cry in a room, right? But maybe- I mean, we might be helping right now. You don't need to let it out in front of us, it's- She probably doesn't want to cry in front of us. I don't know his politics. Just the fact that he's your dad means we're we're pissed. I'm I'm down with that too. It's the squad code, you know. What are you making it sound so impersonal for? He's your father. What do you mean? So what? The fact that you're going off on me for every little thing, I say just proves that you're trying to hold it all in. You know, everyone can tell you're not okay, right? Yeah, I mean, in public, she has to stay composed. I get that. I feel like we should just leave her alone. But also, like, I don't know, maybe... I don't want her to go break down crying in front of us, but like, I don't know. Ah, no, man, this is above my pay grade. Let Let Tatru cook. Maybe he's cooking up something. He's He's usually good in such emotional situations like this. I would, but you're our squad leader, which means this is everyone's problem, not just yours. All I'm saying is that you should give yourself some time to calm down and get your thoughts in order. <laughs> Yes, yes, actually. You made the wrong calls. I mean, the, the, okay, that's not it at all. I'm just saying that times like this, it's okay to rely on us if you need to. That's probably a better way of putting it. Don't be too blunt. If you still think it's none of my business, then I'll lay off. I don't want to make you feel like you're being cornered or anything. <laughs> It was... I mean, she did a pretty good job, honestly. But it's also, like, totally natural, man. Wouldn't have blamed her if she started crying. Pretty sure most of them would. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. Maybe, like, I did see Tama crying. And maybe Makoto. I don't know, but Ayame and Maya. They heard the news. They'd probably be composed. You really have to ask? I think you could probably tell. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's your dad, right? Unless, like, something, like, really, really bad happened between you two to, like, completely sever the bond. It's still gonna hurt. When did you last see him? I know how long they've been here. Like two years, I think. 
they failed like that the island test once maybe two years three years I see I haven't seen my parents in a long time either I don't even know where they are they might be already be dead in this world I mean I am so I know this might sound counterintuitive but it's actually easier on those around you if you just admit that you're in pain Everyone's probably worried sick about you. I don't think they'll say anything though, thanks to the usual policy you guys abide by. You know, all that non-intervention stuff. But sorry, I can't help but get involved when I see someone hurting. I'm not great at the whole minding my own business thing, if you could, couldn't tell. Come on, you can at least pretend to disagree. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know. I know, obviously. I mean, they said they wouldn't hurt the highness, but maybe they're like, clean out the royal guard. Just kill everyone but the... Uh, the queen. Who may or may not be, uh... Maya's mom. Or something. Yeah, though she's not letting it show either. I mean, we don't know the situation with Maya. At least her parents have, haven't been assassinated. I think she's her as a herder for now, man. Hey, weren't you listening? You sure you're gonna be okay? It's mom, dad? Mom's not in the verse? Class rap. Alright, at least hug it out. Maybe we should just give her a hug, man. Give her the hug buff. Sometimes you just need a hug. Hug it out. Okay. No, nah, there's no... I mean, if they talk blood... I mean, this is the perfect time for a mission, man. There's, like, states involved with everyone, including Ayamne, too. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Ayamne is the one who kills... I mean, he has to die, right? There's no way he's not dying after assassinating a bunch. I don't know if they have the death penalty. But if they do, they're definitely, like, dead if we don't just kill him. <laughs> Can't just assassinate, like, a bunch of high-ranking officials, including the Prime Minister, and get away with it, right? Yeah, I hope you're right. My gut feeling is that something bid's about to go down, but could that just be me being paranoid? It's also really such because we tomorrow we need to go back to that traverse, so it's it's actually horrible timing. I can't just stop thinking about how Yuko Sensei said this might be a good opportunity and that she'd be counting on me. <laughs> I mean, if we, like, if we go and start the coup, and they're like, oh, look at the squad, it's fucking stats. We would be, like, national heroes. Like, we'd definitely be, like, we're the superstar squad. Oh, did I miss that? Oh, wait, no. And that was an awfully detailed briefing to give to a bunch of lowly cadets. There's really no telling what she might have in store for us. Oh shit. We're counting the minutes. So this is what combat paint looks like. The markings are definitely a lot less conspicuous. I know they don't show it here, but like I said, I do have a little model of the TSF. Actually. Have I ever showed this? I can show it. The camp's not properly set up. Yeah, hello. Rare occurrence. Look at this guy. Comes with a gun. A blade. And the, it has like two planes on it. I don't think that's normal. But it has like the camouflage. And I think that it comes with like little boats too. And like the little... Actually, I don't even know if that's true. Wait, I got this from a... 
from like a Japanese mystery box when I was in high school. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's kind of funny that uh, eventually we'll play Move Love. It was like a sign from the from the future. Anyways, enough of that, man. Jump that jump steer. All right. Um. What's happening? So this is what... Yeah, yeah. Dark gray, yeah. But it really doesn't matter when you're dealing with the beta. Or, it doesn't really matter when you're dealing with the beta, but we're up against humans this time. It can't hurt to have some camouflage. Does camouflage not work on them? They have different sensory stuff than sight. But... Though I'm not sure how useful it is on a TSF with the human colors. Oh shit, let's go! None of this happened last time. Damn it, we don't have time for such a massive detour right now. The country, no, not just the country, the whole world needs to be coming together to focus on the war against the beta. We got no choice, let's just swash them quickly. But instead, we have to deal with the coup d'etat? We have great timing for this, assholes. Hell oh yeah, real battle. Real ammo. And we're gonna be firing at other people with it. The most I've ever shot were paintballs, and those were in the mock battles. I'm hyped. The last mission I had in the previous timeline, at least the last one I remembered, was just one where I was on lookout for any potential beta or enemy threats. Though thankfully there were no attacks from any beta or anti-migration terrorists. I can't believe my first real battle might be against other people. Uh oh. What's, what's, what is it? Huh? What? How? What? <laughs> what? The IGA? What are they doing here? It's kind of weird. Maybe they're here to pick up Maya? <laughs> I know it sounds kind of weird, but she is royalty. Some sort of royalty. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's what the... The Imperial ones look like. They're just gray. Or well, ours is like the navy bluish. What, what the hell is going on here? Hmm? Maya, he came to see too, huh? Oh, right. Of course. That's the Imperial Japanese Army, right? No, not just TSS, but a whole armored division. With these numbers, I wouldn't be surprised if they had... An ML MLRS unit taking a line behind them. I can imagine the coup d'etat force is coming here, but why the IJA? True. Okay, that made sense. Starting the Americans. So you think they would focus on the coup d'etat more, but I guess in this critical time frame, you don't you really don't want any American like tomfoolery going on. I see. They're here for American troops, not us. This is so stupid. Could things get any worse? Yeah, I never say that, bro. It's just jinxing it. <laughs> if you don't want the Americans' help, then deal with it yourselves. This coup d'etat is already a big enough waste of time, so why are you making it worse? Stop holding the rest of us back. If they can afford to deploy troops out here, why aren't they sending more to suppress the coup d'etat? Yeah, I, I don't agree with Taku at all. 
I'm surprised he has this Tate when we, we literally went over that the Americans are like a big player in this and they could actually be working with the coup d'etat. So this is actually pretty smart. No wonder we're losing to the beta. We're basically sitting nuts here. Nah, he's wrong. He's wrong. This is smart. How the hell are we going to win the war when we're so caught up in stupid shit like this? Yeah, and those values won't mean jack shit when we're all beta food, will they? I mean, I doubt he's just raging, but he's not really giving any, like, actual, like, what to do in this situation. He's just mad. Yeah, I didn't think so. Huh? Hey, yo, they're squatted up. Hey, why did the why did the IJ why did the Imperials like suits look less loot than ours? They just like like more armory and cooler. Suki, I mean first lieutenant. But that looks pretty badass. Aren't they like our personal body or Mayo's personal bodyguards? I didn't think it would like be their responsibility to go help. Maya? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense for them to know. I'm just saying if the three did started stampeding on the two, it would have been GG already. What could they do against the stampeders? Yeah, who knows what happens? What if all the royals die and May is like the last one alive? You never know, man. Precautions. Whoa, Maya, stop it. Well, we might be going in, so. Standard round, girls. Let a Bisu cook. She's gonna deliver the final punch. So true. That's why you're my favorite Abisu. Out of the three. <laughs> Gotta respect the hairballs on her. I mean, it's a tense situation. Can't really blame her. For freaking. Alright then, let's leave it at that, shall we? Ah. Alright, have fun. In the hinder. <laughs> it's fine, really, but more importantly, Lieutenant, is her highness safe? That's what you want to know, right? Well, they, the two did say that they would leave her highness alone. I don't know if that means to kill all the other royals, but at least she should be alive. So they're fighting the royal guards. I don't know what they're doing. I just say, even if they want to keep her alive, they still gotta like take her hostage. Because if they want to like the full control of the government, since it's like a, it's the prime minister and the shogun at like kind of joint control, they have to control both, right? 
And I just thought report that they'd already engaged one another was false, huh? Yeah, trying to get her in a hostage situation. So, Lieutenant Tsukiyomi, where did these IJA units come from? Mm. Well, that's better, because the final defense line is just like if they break through, right? So, they're not exactly. It's not as bad as like taking from the first defense line. I knew it. Little spicy. Those dipshits are leaving the secondary defense line undefended too. I don't, why are you calling them dipshits, man? This is. I don't know. I love you, Tatru, but. Not, not, not good strategy here. Uh, why does it matter who gets to rule what? The whole thing is just ridiculous? Okay, bro, like, come on. That's just silly. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> well, what will you tell these stupid parasters that none of this matter if we all get wiped out? We're here on the front lines of the Far East and they choose now to start their little revolution? We just, we gotta just take the full force of the unit and squash every last one of them. I mean, that's base. That's base, but like, treating like a... Like, like come on. Like, especially in like... You know, obviously it's a model of Japan, but obviously the Japanese have like a lot of pride. You know, you know they're kind of up there with the Americans and like how much they love their country. Canada's like kind of more chill on it. Like we we love our country, but we're not that like nationalistic. But like obviously it matters like who controls the country, man. I feel like any country would be pissed. If you have like strong feelings toward it and someone just hates it over. Obviously, they're still Japanese, but. Yep, it's the Americans, bro. He's probably talking about America. And if America gets their way and they don't want alternative four, they want alternative five, so then they can just start like. They want, like, people to leave so they can start, like, reclaiming the world by, like, nuking the shit out of it and rebuilding it, so. You gotta play it safe. That's why the forces are here to, like, screw, stop the Americans from doing anything. It, it made sense. It's a complicated web, though. It's probably too complicated for Taku. From what I heard in the command center earlier, they definitely had a whole, a hand in orchestrating this whole mess. <laughs> She, she talked to him about America here? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, Japan's a lot better now, but obviously that, that could definitely describe Japan, like, a little bit ago. <laughs> Even in the previous timeline, America started preparing to annihilate the beta with G-bombs as soon as Alternative 5 was enacted. I would. I mean, sure, maybe I don't remember anything about what happened after that. But it doesn't matter because I won't let it happen again. Hiko and Sensei and I are gonna put a stop to it. Mankind's survival takes priority above all else. Okay, why are you playing this hypothetical game? I know it's to own Taku, which I think he needs to get owned a little bit. But... Yeah, right. All the beta would do dis is destroy. They wouldn't be interested in ruling us. No, mankind needs to be victorious. Period. Coexistence with the beta is not an option. Okay. Okay, 
This is actually a pretty good analogy, yeah. I mean, it probably wouldn't go that far, but I get the point. That's a good point, man. I mean, it's I think it's important to, like, you know, even if they win, you don't want to just be ruled, like, the world ruled by America. You, you want to keep your identity, right? Because then it's, like, not the Earth anymore. Just call it... Planet America. <laughs> now you're just screwing with me. How's that scenario any different at all? No, I mean, that was a pretty good, like, metaphor to the current situation, actually. I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> this isn't on that small of a scale, though. But it's, a, it, it's like, literally one to one. Come on, doctor. You really can't see it after that explanation. It is literally one to one with what we're talking about with American Japan. <laughs> I mean, I get that like scale is kind of important um, for some arguments, but like I feel like this one was perfect. God damn it! What do these examples have to do with any of this? I already know how all of this is going to end. We don't have time to be playing around with stupid analogies. He's he's mad because he lost the debate, man. True, true, own him. I like this. He already knows he lost. What we're doing with this sort of bullshit is weighing ourselves down. Ugh. I agree with Tsukiyomi. Like, if you're gonna save the world, you wanna save it where it's not like... You wanna, like, try to keep it, like, as it was before as much as you can. You don't wanna, like, completely controlled by one country or whatever. They're based. I got the importance, but, like... It's not just about saving the world. It's about, like... Made saving the world and making Earth, like, be Earth, right? And then you don't want to co coexist with the beta, being our, like, masterminds or... and stuff like that, right? You want to keep it as earthly as possible. What are you looking at me for? Well, he obviously got on her, her bad side, so... Huh? I mean, he does kind of seem a little sympathetic to the Americans right now, so... Yeah, I wouldn't trust him. Oh, come on. After all that crypto nonsense, now you come out and call the Americans by name? それでよ。だけれと同じく私も存在だからな。上大将は帝都城敷地内にありますので、未だ健在です。それにより、この英軍の統制は依然失われておりません。So <laughs> she's getting her information straight from the Shogun. No wonder it's more accurate. The rebels must be dying to close this lead somehow. Okay, no civilian deaths, just high ranking officials and probably soldiers. The coup d'etat forces harm the Shodin or any civilians, they completely lose the moral high ground. True. Even a kid could figure that out. Hmm. Yeah, to solidify their role, gotta just declare that they're the new government. 
直ちに直命が発せられることはありえないでしょうしかし時間が経てば経つほど帝国軍の体制が整うアメリカ軍が介入してくる危険もあるさようでございます帝都で戦場となる可能性も十分ありましょう最悪だそれに備え帝都圏に散在するこの絵軍駐屯地の各部隊は帝都城に駐屯中です、mm. I don't know what to do man It almost seems but you can't broker peace with them, right? I don't know. What can you do? <laughs> the situation's too I don't above my pay grade. I don't even know what we should do. A hard saying just go storm them because fuck them. And kick the Americans out, but you can't really do anything. It really sucks that they let them in their base, huh? If we could storm them before letting them in their base and just handle the situation without their intervention, it would it would go. I mean, there'd still be like a lot of deaths, but at least it, it would still be cleaner. I think. Obviously, the Americans like help taking down the crew, but then you don't want them to like. You don't want us to be in debt with them, right? Hmm. It's too much. I don't know. The Red Guard exists solely to protect the Shodan, so it's not like the Rebels can just block their entry and risk the skirmish breaking out. So I doubt they're happy about letting them just watch right in through their lines. Makes sense. I'm still Team Tsukiyomi. I, I did talk. I, uh, yeah, you gotta save the world, bro, but. I agree with Tsukiyomi. Obviously, Takura is different. Like, he's seen the world end, which is just a experience he can't really imagine, right? But And it's definitely, I traumatized him <laughs> in some way. To the point where he doesn't even really remember, like, his final days. But still. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure I'd do the same thing in her position. Maybe. I don't know. He's too headstrong, honestly. From Tsukiyomi's perspective, I'm a dead man walking. Now she thinks I've got American sympathies. Seems like it. Given how close, to, how close I am to Mayor right now, yeah, I can't really blame her for being a little suspicious. Then let's get back to the hangar. We have to finish adjusting our cockpits. Boom. Alright, but we are gonna stop here. Get the hour mark. Look at this. The, the Mexican standoff. Alright, yeah. We're gonna end here, though. Things are dire. I don't know what's happening. I mean... I mean, I, we know what's happening, but I don't know what's gonna happen. I can't really, like, imagine what to do. But if I'm just thinking of thematically, Ayamne killing the rebel leader would work, or Cheezer killing the rebel leader. It is really... I mean, I, I funny, but, like, not funny that, like... And then Ayamne's ex-boyfriend killed Cheezer's dad. And then... So we have, like, that piece happening. So after this, though, this might be like the best bonding experience ever, depending on how it plays out. Or they'll hate each other forever. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what to do. There's there's a lot of options here. It really sucks, again, that the merchants are in. Because it really limits the options to what you can actually do. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, pray Yuko Sensei figures out something good, because that's that's usually the, just the best option when you don't know what to do. She usually has plays. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Maybe we'll we'll go kill some traders. That'll be cool. Revenge for Chizuru's dad. I didn't know him, but can't just kill kill one of our squad's dads, man. You kidding me? Think you can get away with that? Not on my watch.